When the fossil bones of Judith were found, the skeleton was incomplete. About half of Judith's skull is preserved, as well as parts of its legs, hips, and backbone. Although incomplete, the remains tell us much about the dinosaur's life history, which was rife with suffering. Take, for example, Judith's humerus, or upper arm bone. It shows many signs of arthritis and bone infection. If you look at the elbow, you can see great openings that have developed to drain the infection. We don't know how the bone became infected, but we can be sure that it caused the animal great pain for years and probably made its left forelimb useless for walking. We also know that the dinosaur was mature and had nearly stopped growing by the time it died. One indication is the density of the annual growth rings inside the bones. And counting the growth rings tells us that Judith was somewhere between 7 and 10 years old when it died. So despite the gruesome bone diseases and infections that Judith suffered, the animal still managed to grow to full size. It must have taken a lot of resilience to live with such a painful disability.